it's me, Double D, with another episode of Pikmin 2! Last time, we took on the Submerged Castle and did horribly. Things went horribly wrong. Let's just leave it at that. And in this episode, we're gonna try to explore another cave because with all the stuff we've been doing, yeah, I think this is the perfect time to explore more caves. So I'm just gonna get out all the Pikmin we have, or at least that I can bring out. I wish I had more white Pikmin, and I wish none of them died in the Submerged Castle. Stupid water wraith. Anyway, so, I'm gonna take out as much as I can. Or at least as much as I think I'm going to need, because who knows how much I'm actually going to need. Hmm. 84 Pikmin, and how many blues do I have out now? 22. Uh, yeah. I want to be reorganizing my Pikmin accordingly, so I don't have to worry about anything else that's gonna go wrong. But knowing my luck, it probably is. Okay, sure. 18 purple Pikmin, and of course, more reds, because... I can easily repopulate on those. Anyway, so, where are we gonna go next? It's almost sundown, and remember we drained the water, well, to where, to the next cave? Well, that's basically the closest cave to where we want to go. I saw almost, I almost said clave there, but yeah. That's the coast, uh, the closest cave. The closest cave that we have yet to go to, so we're gonna be taking on that very cave. In fact, Pluck that grass, so yeah, I'm gonna need all the nectar up everyone, because majority of them are leaves, and when that's, when it's that kind of situation, it tends to go over very horribly. Okay, so I believe that should be enough of Pikmin that are not flowers, so with that, let's go in here. Yeah, this is the same one we could, with the electric gate and the bridge. We could do it without taking on the bridge if you finagle all your blue pigment over to that rock so that we can be able to drain this entire thing, but obviously that's going to be difficult. So, with that, let's go into the shower room. We're going to be facing up against- oh. I just had to swallow there, but yeah. We're going to be facing up against all types of obstacles. Let's do this. And w now watch, I'm going to accidentally make a sex joke because we're going to be in a dungeon called the shower room. Welcome to the shower room, sub level one. Now, at first glance, well, of course, there's Wally Walks, but also there are elect electric gates, or rather, elec yeah, electric gates. So it's in your best interest to deactivate them first so that your Pikmin can go through it. Okay, yeah, that scared me. Sometimes wog poles can fall fall in there, but obviously they serve no issue whatsoever. What will serve as an issue are these Wallywogs. They suck. I want to kill I want to kill them as much as possible. <sighs> okay, uh no. Do not let it get away. Do not let it get away. Yeah, sometimes boulders will Oh uh, crap. Oh crap. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. What was I trying to do? Say like, oh yeah. Sometimes boulders will fall from the sky to try to kill you. I believe those will, are capable of killing Pikmin. Okay, um, let's see if I can lure the wog, Wally Wog over here and make it treble enough to shake it up. There we go. It's dead. Okay. Seeing as there's no more Wally Wogs left, I might as well ta have this one yellow take down this electric gate. Um, uh, we have plenty of reds that I can always repopulate on, so... You get to be whites from now on! That sounds incredibly wrong somehow. I always seem to be digging myself a deeper hole every time I talk about white Pikmin. Oh. There is a watery blowhog over there, right by an electric... Electric gate over there. And that is concerning. Hmm. Okay, so. What I want to do is... Um, if you want to take back the Wally Wall corpse, then be my guest, I guess. Anyway, so, uh, I don't need you purples. I said I don't need you purples. I understand your enthusiasm to work, but safety is important. Now, as far as I know, the boulders cannot cr will or cannot kill your Pikmin, but they will come as a surprise. Wog poles are falling out of the sky. Fortunately, you can easily call them back if the wog, if the watery blowhog is gonna get in your way. Okay. I know I could have just put in more, but you know. And there we go. 
it's down. Now, I believe this is the only treasure of the sub-level. But I want to look around to see if there's any boulders that are going to fall from the sky. And if so, then at least I'm going to be prepared for that. Because if I'm not mistaken, the boulders will actually kill Pikmin. I could be wrong about this, though. So, I'm just going to take all my blues. At least I think this is enough, hopefully. 25 does not look like a, a solid num number to carry back some something from here. It oh, sweet! It is enough. And now, if I'm not mistaken, that is the only... The only treasure of the sub-level. And Boulder! Yeah, if you see a huge shadow like that, now would be the time to get, get out of the way, because I believe that can kill Pikmin. At least I hope so. But it's crushing them, so I would assume it could cap is capable of killing Pikmin. Anyway, we have ourselves. A juicer, which is known he has here. Merciless Extractor! That sounds kind of gruesome to fruit kind. Okay, so there's no more treasures here, but I do want to check it check out this egg over here because, well, it is something we have we can check out. It could be mid tides, it could be nectar, it could be a potion. Let's see what it what it entails. Just nectar. Well, at least it could flower up all my white Pikmin. And apparently my leaf purple Pikmin. And sure, take back the corpse. For science. Okay, so, Louie, you're gonna get over there. 8,001. That's 80% of our debt repaid already. <laughs> Sub-level 2 of the shower room. The nice thing is, we don't have to worry about that stupid water wraith ruining our day. Okay, I see a purple candy pop bud, or violet candy pop bud, but I want to look around first in case any boulders are going to fall from the sky, because those suck. Just like this orange bulb orb! Okay, there is a D battery over there, and that thing. Okay, I can never tell these two enemies apart, but it's either the Graded Spotted jelly, jelly Float or the Lesser Spotted Jelly Float. I can never tell those two apart. Yeah, it looks pretty. And there's our boulder. <laughs> and there's another boulder. And there we go. I believe that's all the boulders that, that can be triggered here, but I'm not- I wouldn't be too sure. Okay, there's that orange bulb I need to worry about later. It's coming this way. Why did I take it over here? Okay, um, okay, there is a candy pop butt there, but I first I wanted to check if- okay, no boulder. Okay. Okay, how do I want to go about this? That's the question. Well, I, I, I should kill kill all the enemies first before taking on the, the greater or lesser spotted jelly float. Like I said, I can never tell those two enemies apart. They look almost the same, except for different colors. Anyway, so, let's kill you. And carry this other D battery back. It's not gonna be called the Courage Reactor because we already have an enemy called that. Um, sure, I'll take it back. I'll take back the corpse too. Okay, Louie, let's see what you can do. We're gonna need to do something about those poison, poison gas geysers. I, at least I could call it geysers. Okay. Okay, so White Pikmin will have to do, will do their duty to take down the take down these geysers, so I don't have to worry about them. Okay, because I believe one treasure is hiding behind those those geysers, and I don't want to deal with the greater, greater spotted jelly float just yet. Okay, here we go. Here it is. It's a bar of soap. Okay, and there we go. No. Get out of there. Get out of here, please. Thank you. And that's not enough. Okay, so. Well, I get to gather my Pikmin. You are not a courage reactor, but durable energy cell. Oh, that's a C battery, not a D battery. Uh, I'm dumb. At least a different name name can be justified now. Okay. Hello. Oh. Okay, so what to do next? Okay, Louie has some white Pikmin over there that need to carry that soap back. However, I need to also need to do something with the sports and spouts so we can be able to move around easily. There we go. Okay, Olimar, you and your Pikmin are going to take this bar of soap back. Don't drop it! 
not the not not the 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 Bulborg co corpse, although you can. But there we go. Enough pigment to carry the soap back. Don't drop it. I swear I am not. Okay, well yeah, I am doing this on purpose. But anyway, might as well kill these orange Bulborgs here right now so they don't get in the way of taking on that boulder. He has boulder, but taking on the greater spotted jelly float. Or lesser. I can never tell what that is, and I'm gonna have a counter to see how many times I can fail to identify it. Well, at l anyway, whatever the jelly spotted, uh, the jelly, the jelly spotted float is in the end, it's gonna be dead. So let's 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 take it, and I believe this will still steal captains or pigment. I can never tell which one it is. I believe graders can do captains, and and the, and the uh, lesser can only do pigment. Either way, it's dead. I could have sworn there was some. It had treasure, but I believe that the those two things are the only treasures that we can get. Anyway, while I wait for them to take this down, let's see what you contain. You are Sud Generator. Okay, just straight to the point. Okay, Louie, let's see what you got. Um. Okay. Yeah, all the Pikmin are done with the gate over there, so. I might as well take advantage of the candy pot bud over here and turn some into blues. Or I mean purples. And since yellows have served their purpose in this dungeon, I might as well turn all the yellows into into, well, purples. Okay, um or reds, that could work. Okay. I'm just gonna throw some in here. Okay, and I believe that's all the purples that, that can be produced. Okay, so I'm gonna pluck these. Actually, now that these are on the ground, we collect something from the collected something from the submerged castle. Watch when he whistle. Instant plucking, which means no longer will I have to mash A just to pluck all the Pikmin. Okay, so let's go down to sub level three of the shower room. Sub level three! I don't remember shower rooms having three floors. Okay, oh! J spotted jelly floats up ahead and there's a water dumple. Okay, I have to take- I'm gonna take out the water dumple really quick because it's gonna get annoying really fast. Okay, oh, oh, oh no, 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 no! Okay, okay. Okay, there's a purple pigment trapped in there. I ha- I think it, I- if I don't- if I- if I wait too long, it's gonna drown it and the pigment will die. Either that or... No! Okay, I have to rescue it. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> I swear my throat is... My throat is... It's doing, a, it's doing a number on this throat. <coughs> anyway. Kill it! Kill it! Kill the spotted jelly, flo jelly float. Lesser or greater. I don't know what it is. I can tell those two apart uh, once again, but this one's dead. Okay. Now, this one has an egg, so I don't have to worry about that. Water dumple, okay. I have to, I'm gonna take out the water dumples really quick. Okay. Uh, it's coming to, coming this way. Um, purple Pikmin. You, okay. Now, purple Pikmin, okay. That is definitely a greater spotted jelly float. Yeah, that is definitely it. Because it's bigger, therefore it's it's it is the greater spotted jelly float. Okay, kill it, kill it, kill it before I believe it drowns if we take way too long. And because considering this is a greater spotted jelly float, it dropped powder. If only it could find Smephany here. If you watch Luke Agenda, America's Next Top Model Let's Play is hilarious. You should watch that. Anyway, so. Let's get Smephany's powder into the ship. You are... Mirrored Stage. Well, with the powder gone from the... Or at least that's foundation. I don't know. I don't know my makeup. But with the stuff on the middle gone, it could suit as a stage. Now that it said that. Okay. There's one more, but I don't... 
I don't want to take any unnecessary risks because... Boulders. Yeah, boulders. Okay. There's our lesser spotted jelly float, so yeah. At least I don't have to worry about giving the names to the wrong things. Okay. And... A Cromad, which I will have to do something about. No treasure here, unfortunately, so that's a dead end. At least I hope- I think that's a dead end. Actually... Uh, the radar's not going crazy, so... I don't have to worry about this Cromad. Okay, Lesser Spotter Jelly Float is... Is unattended to... Yeah, sorry if I sound so paranoid, is that with when we're, when we're facing up against a dungeon with with boulders falling from the sky out of nowhere, I want to make sure I trigger all those spots so I don't have to worry about crushing my Pikmin. Because that would be a really terrible way to die. Okay, there's a seashell over there, and there's a, can, a, a canned lid. Okay, there's a water double and a, and a jelly float over there. Okay, at least now I know what to do. And I put myself at the de in a dead, dead end, but who cares. Okay, now we can go onward. Okay, so. Okay, so, what should I do now? Olimar's right there awaiting some orders. Okay, um, let's see, how many purple Pikmin can I put on this job? Okay, 12. Um, but first I, wanna, I need to tend to the jelly float. Because if I don't do something about it, it's gonna get annoying really fast, and I probably won't have any Pikmin to set them free. So, let's get, get, let's get our, all our Pikmin onto this jelly float. Okay, sure. Take care of the can lid. The lid can. Or the can lid. I, I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, sure, water double. Let's kill it. It's gonna it's gonna be a nuisance to us if, if, if any Pikmin decide to go the way they don't, I don't want them to go. So, I might as well take it out now. Okay. Blue Pikmin. You carry this back to, the, back to base. There is enough of you to carry it back, so you do it. Okay. And then I'm gonna do this. Take on the gate. Olimar, in the meantime, is gonna explore around to see if there's any ship... I almost said ship parts. Treasures that we have missed. Anyway, so... Water Dumble fell from the sky. But! Our lid has arrived. Vorpal Platter! That sounds cool, actually. Even though I know that's just a lid. Hey, at least our other treasure is on its way of being... Getting there. I'm trying to look around to see if there's any more treasures I have missed in here. Because there could be treasures that I have yet to collect. Yeah, you always have to check around unless your radar is... Doesn't... Well, unless your radar stops. Anyway, you are... Scrumptious Shell. I think that's a scallop shell. Okay, that's the noise that the that it makes when it's done, so it, what's done is done. Wait, how did the majority of our pigment become leaves? Anyway, so let's go down deeper. Welcome to sub-level four, and hey, this is not a... This is not a shower room, this is a sewer. Anyway, even though we're standing in water, oddly enough, our Pikmin aren't drowning. I guess because it's shallow, I guess it means that our Pikmin have no need to worry about drowning in water, I guess. I mean, they're not submerged or anything. Okay. Okay, right up there. It's very easy to miss, but that is indeed treasure. In fact, that is... a marijuana leaf. At least I think that is. I don't know. It's probably a maple leaf, probably a marijuana leaf, who knows. Anyway, so, okay, um, let's see, if there's anything over here, oh, Queen Candy Pop Bud. Oh, but first we don't want to go over the marijuana leaf. Anyway, you are called. Aboral Frippery. I'm gonna feel really stupid for not knowing any of those two, two words mean, so I'm gonna say Aboral means has something to do with trees, and frippery has to do with something of being relaxed because of that leaf. I don't know, I'm gonna be totally wrong and probably put a definition of those two words on screen. <laughs> anyway, that's the only treasure, and right over here. I was totally wrong about what, what this does. Apparently, if you put in Pikmin here, when you lose Pikmin, it'll give you, 
when you throw in a single Pikmin, it'll bring out whatever Pikmin you, you need. Well, out of it. So, if you're having a shortage of Pikmin, these guys will save you. Also, over here. New enemies. These are Spectralids. Correction. These were Spectralids. Yeah. These things are what could be loosely described as enemies because they can be able- they die so easily, faster than I could be able to explain them. Yeah. Anyway, all the Spectralids are gone. Yeah. Spectralids are a joke. I mean, yes, Skitter Leaves are also harmless too, but at least the Skitter Leaves do something to inconvenience you. Spe Spectralids do not. And I don't think we have to worry about anything else in this floor because I believe this is a rest area. Area. Anyway, here's your guys there in case you don't feel up to the, the last floors of the dungeon. But obviously, we're gonna keep going ahead. Anyway, so. Okay, I need to find the exit to this floor because. What I plan to do is to take on the rest of the floor in the next episode, or at least the rest of this dungeon. Huh, the Spectralids are much more. much worth something than I thought. Anyway, here's our exit. And I believe. I believe this leads us back to the beginning where. where our ship is. If I if I can be right about this, um yeah there it is. At least you can really get my Pikmin, but we don't have to worry about that. They won't be left behind if we transition between floors. Anyway, so with that out of the way, I guess we're gonna end things off here. Next time on Pikmin 2, we're gonna be exploring more of the shower room. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.